area of moisture that will continue to move towards central North Carolina overnight. It'll run into some cold air, and in some spots, it'll turn to snow. Today, we have new winter weather alerts to pass on, and it's for a majority of central North Carolina. Everyone in blue under a winter weather advisory. Those are issued by the National Weather Service to give us all a heads up that some travel could become hazardous at some point tomorrow. It's in effect all day, and some of you in the blue could see up to two inches, although the average amounts for areas shaded in blue looks to be one inch. Here is our final call on what we're expecting tomorrow. This is the CBS 17 official forecast. Still mainly a rain event for the Sand Hills down toward Wayne County, mainly I-95 and south. But the heart of the triangle through Wake County, that's where we're still going to see a good amount of rain, but some snow, especially Friday night, could give us up to an inch. And the I-85 corridor where we expect the rain snow line to set up, that's where we could see one to two inches. As you know, this could all shift depending where the line sets up. And what about that burst of snow Friday night. I'll show you exactly what we're expecting now with that coming up in less than 15 minutes. Now, local news that matters. This is CBS 17 News. All caught on camera. A former school resource officer will serve jail time after an attack on a student that was caught on camera. Warren Durham pleaded guilty today to two charges, including assault on a child under 12. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley has been following this case for more than a year. She was in court this afternoon. That former school resource officer was sentenced to jail time for that December 2019 assault on an 11 year old boy. The child's family calling it the worst day of their lives. Now they say they want to see the laws change so crimes like this carry harsher punishments. More than a year later, this video is still hard for John Miles to watch. Why did this man put his hand on me and why did he try to kill me? That's the the words my grandson said to me. In the video from December 2019, a now former Vance County Middle School Resource Officer Warren Durham is seen walking down a hall with Miles' 11-year-old grandson. He grabs the boy, slams him to the ground twice, and drags him down the hallway. On Thursday, Durham pled guilty to assaulting the child. As the video shows, I mean, this was a horrific act. District Attorney Mike Waters asked the judge to sentence Durham to jail time for two misdemeanor charges, including assault on a child under 12. Durham's attorney says his client doesn't remember the incident, but blamed it on Durham's PTSD from his 31-year military career that included active combat, saying his client is seeking psychological help. Those are very real things, and uh, I appreciate his service. He was not a good fit to be a law enforcement officer. The judge sentenced Durham to a combination of jail time and probation, saying he needed to send a message to the state and nation. Actions like this have consequences, but also wants to make sure Durham can continues getting treatment. The boy's family was disappointed with the amount of jail time handed down, saying the child has lingering effects from the assault and concussion. We have to get this law changed that law enforcement officers cannot just abuse kids or even abuse citizens and um, get a smack on the wrist. Warren Durham will serve 55 days of that active jail sentence beginning January 18th. He'll then be on 18 months probation, during which he'll have to prove that he's still undergoing psychological treatment. As for his law enforcement certification, it's been suspended. What to do with it permanently will be up to the state standards committee. Reporting in Vance County, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.